information about evictions in St. Louis County, the county council voted to temporarily stop 600 residential evictions last night. But that halt doesn't start immediately. News 4's Damon Arnold joins us live this morning to tell us when some people may get some relief and how long it will last. Damon. Hey, good morning to you. The hot on those evictions isn't set to start until May the 12th, and it'll only last until June the 30th, giving people just over a month to go ahead and make other arrangements or to try to get caught up. Now, the efforts to stop these evictions uh, only received four votes in favor, which in turn failed to make it an emergency order. Renters would need to prove that they're working to either make at least partial payments or applying for assistance. Tenants would also be at risk uh, of being homeless or having to move in with others that would increase the risk of spreading COVID-19. Landlords did speak out with their attorney stating that the council doesn't have the legal power to stop them, but the county does have some say over the sheriff's department that carries out the eviction. And for one working married couple who was hit hard by the pandemic financially have already been evicted and they say, where's the help for them? Everywhere we try. No, 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 no. I have called so many agencies. We have applied to so many agencies. And at the end of the day, no, you had an eviction. So therefore you are unworthy. For those of you who are needing assistance with your rent, you can head over to stlcorona.com. It's there you'll find the emergency rental assistance program that you can apply for that opened at the beginning of this month. I'm reporting live in Clayton, Damon Arnold, News 4.